What up, though, Heist Man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Britney Spears, she needs some help, man. Let's be honest about this situation. I don't want to make it out of laughing matter, but I say that girl needs some help. It came on my radar about like a year ago, maybe two years ago. Everybody was talking about free Britney. I'm talking about people came out in droves, you know, um, picketing, doing all type of stuff to get that girl free. And I was wondering what they were trying to get her free of. It was her conservative ship. They're trying to end that. Um, I heard stories like, I, I, don't, I don't know this girl like that, you know. I don't know what she's been into with her life, but they said she had like a hand her, basically. Like her people's, her mom and daddy, manager, stuff like that. They had to handle that girl. I didn't know that girl was going through it like that. But um, they wanted to end that because she felt like everybody wanted her free. Because she couldn't spend her own money, I heard. I don't know if this is true or not, but. She couldn't even get her hair done, change her hair color and stuff. She couldn't um, do videos, do music no more. They, they had to handle her, you know, they said something with her mental state. Um, they said she couldn't get cabinets or something like that. It's all type of stuff. And everybody was talking about free Britney. I don't know if the time not add up right, but when, after she got freed, um, she got married to this dude right here, Sam. Sam something, I can't pronounce his last name. Um, yeah, handsome guy, Paul's. Yeah, had some guy though, but they they did get married. And they want him. They get a divorce right now as we speak, and um, maybe he was taking advantage of her, or something like that. I don't know. I go down though. They, um, he signed the prenup. Some kind of details they got going on, and he not gonna be able to get no paper up out of her. Big shout out to them making that prenup because it seemed like he was trying to take advantage of that girl when she was going through all that. Like I said, that's a decent looking dude. Pause again. You know what I mean? And I don't see no connecting like that. Well, she supposed to be going through all this mental stuff, man. But I think that girl needs some help. I'm, somebody need to reach out and touch her, man. For the simple fact, like, after she got freed, everybody was saying, like, yo, Brittany can do what she want to. And she been, she been wilding out. You know, she been doing her little TikToks every day. She do a TikTok. Um, it became like a little running joke. Look at Brittany. Look at Brittany. Brittany doing something else. Brittany wilding out. Brittany wilding out. Um, it got to the point people started commenting about her her underwear that she had on, the way she warm, like she used to pull them down. It, look, it looked crazy, you know, it was a funny thing. Look at this, <laughs> it's crazy right here. I don't know who pulled their stuff down like this, but you know what I mean. Um, this, this is like a running joke. My wife used to show me these. She showed me one this morning. I'm looking like, yo, this, I think this girl needs some help, man. Um, because it. I ain't, what do you call it, sympathy? I call it empathy. I got empathy for her because it, 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 it ain't hit home, but I can understand why. Maybe, like, this this kind this kind of crazy seeing her do this. Um, you know, doing these videos every day. And it, it hit home with me because I remember, like, I was probably, like, 10 years old. And I was staying in this apartment complex. And all the little kids would be out there playing. It'd be this one little girl. She had mental problems. And she used to get us out there, and she put us in a circle. She wanted to perform this, this song. And I found out what the song was. It's by Kathy Dennis. It's called Touch Me, Tease Me. You know, this is the video for it right here. Kathy Dennis. That's the old woman name. It's an old school song. But this girl, she's get out there and get us in the middle of this circle. She'd be like, touch me, tease me, drive me crazy all night long. She's, she's performing this every day. Well, she tried to, because after a while, like when I first moved out there, I listened to it, like, oh, okay. But then it was like, weeks and weeks ago, she performing the same song every day. And, you know, she had a little, you know, little problems. And it was just crazy. But now when I get older and stuff, and I see Britney Spears up here, she be performing every day, doing the same type stuff. That's why I say, yo, this, this woman needs some help, man. Look at these pictures. Like, y'all see it. She put, like... I guess she picked up her cell phone. She put it in the same spot every day, the way she got it, and she's performing. And everybody was like, y'all need to free her. And I don't know, man. I think she need to get a little bit, you know, some more help, man. So I don't know. Um, better help, whatever. I don't know. I don't know these things, man. But mental health is real. And I'm seeing it like, because like I said, I did not know what this girl was going through. It just hit my radar because it was like a little meme. Everybody talking about it and joking about it. And it was like, free Britney for what? Oh, for real? Oh, that, it was going down like that. It's like stuff you didn't know you don't hear about. And um, ever since her conveyorship, con, con, I can't say that word, man. Forgive me. I don't use it every day. Conservative, conservative shit, whatever you want to say. 
But I ain't seen no um no interviews and nothing with her. Sitting down with nobody talking, explaining, and seeing her being coherent and stuff. And but I'm seeing these videos and it's it got me thinking like, oh, this crazy. I kind of feel for her. So I don't know, man. This can reach out to anybody to, to can know her. Or something reach out to something. Just trying to do my due diligence because I see it now. I'm looking like after seeing that video this morning, but just doing her regular TikTok. He was like, hold on, man. I remember. He said, girl, when I was growing up, you used to do the same these songs every day. This one song every day. And it seemed like when I seen Britney Spears doing that, I'm looking at it like, she performing every day for this, like, for her TikTok. I mean, you know, I don't know how many followers she got, what she doing. I don't know if she, do, do she talk on there. But from what I've seen, the few times I've seen it, is that she get in front of that same position like that girl did when I was 10 years old and put on this robotic, flow thing she got going man so i don't know man it just kind of weird not weirded me out but like i said i feel empathy maybe sympathy too is like, like wow just watching it like yo that's mm -hmm. but we definitely gonna be talking about this friday because i go live on the channel every friday talking about stuff just like this you gotta come through and holler at me man hit that like button the comment button the share button the subscribe button the notification bell all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday on this channel. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Oh, this time? But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.